Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 88 and today we have three more games with our Saintees as we face Galatasaray in the third game of the group stage in the Champions League. What a big game that is at McDermott Park. Then face Stoke City away at the Bet365 Stadium and then host Ronald Koeman's Everton in a big clash in the Premier League for our third and final game. So three big games today and as per usual, we need three big results. And so the first game will be against Galatasaray. But just before we do get into the game, I do want to say uh, the save has been progressing quite nicely. We're into the fifth season now. But sometimes it feels like it takes an age to get through the seasons. This is why every single month there are just so many games to play. And then, of course, during this period, we've got the uh, the Champions League uh, knockout stages if we reach them. It's, it's mad how many games you have to play every single season, especially when you're managing a country as well. But uh, still, first game today is against Galatasaray. It's the third game of the Champions League group stage. So after it, will be halfway through the group. And right now we're in second place with three points. Monaco breathing down our necks, only behind us on the head-to-head -head record. And Atletico are top with four. So big games. We host the Turkish side. Can we get the win? Let's hope so. Come on, St. Johnston. Oh, McDonough wins it back inside the area. Great persistence. Gets, short, gets a shot away as well. And Fernando Muslera got a touch on it, but the Uruguayan couldn't keep it out. And Ewan McDonald, who is our player of the season so far, has fired us into a lead. He got out of strength there, but then won it back off the number 23. Rifled it in. Maybe Muslera should do better, but he doesn't. Ewan McDonald is just on fire this year. There's a quick start for you. Already taking the lead. You know, sometimes I play these games and I just think I just can't score goals in this save. 12 minutes, first attempt, first goal. Excellent, excellent start. And it's Barry stepping in, putting his man on the floor and winning it back. Oh, Barry, I love you so much. I never get tired of digging up Barry. Every time he does something, anything, I don't care what it is, a tackle, interception, block, headed clearance, it's just, it's just so funny. He's the most unique youth player I think I've ever had as Kingsley goes down the left. Deep cross to the back stick. In goes McBurney. And head of iron for a corner as we put the pressure on and try and find a second goal here. 17 minutes in. And that header by Ollie goes just over the bar. Shovel Berkey boy. Yes, of course it is. Son. Back towards Barry. Barry putting the style on towards Logan. As we'll, uh, we'll play out from the back. God, there are so many awesome players in this in Johnston team. I love it. As Shane Gray goes down the left-hand side. Nice little reverse step over. Comes inside. Finds the Tory on the ball. Where's he going? Still the Tory. Tries to play it through towards McBurney. Succeeds in doing so. McBurney back inside towards Burke. Burke gets shooting space. Surely for 2-0. There it is. Rolls it into the bottom corner. And Oliver Burke makes it St. Johnston uh, 2. Galatasaray 0. A brilliant first half. And we double our lead. McBurney with a nice little flick inside towards Burke. Finds space between the two defenders and then fires one in at the bottom corner uh, towards the near post. Can't get my words muddled up today. Maybe Muslera should have done better, just like the first goal, to be beaten at the near post once more. But it was a decent finish and it is 2-0. And uh, you have to say now, surely going into the break, points are in the bag. It's Gumus down the right-hand side for Galatasaray. Deep cross the far post. Pass now to win that did. But it goes straight to Bruma. And Bruma comes inside. Oh, what a big tackle by Sutan. No, referee. You can't give a penalty for that. The Galatasaray player just walked in the way to draw the foul. He, he won the ball cleanly against the ball carrier but the number nine just walked in the way to make sure that there was going to be a foul that's not a penalty that's not fair man that is not fair that is that's cheap that's cheap that's dirty we're supposed to be the villains this year that's a dirty play there but uh, an intelligent one and uh, Bruma can get Galatasaray back in the game and he's done so he's half the deficit just before the break it's a textbook penalty right into the top corner that's a cheap play, but uh, oh dear, I can't believe that. It's a great finish from the spot, but that is a that's 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 not where it's fair. But it's oh what seriously? Shane Gray through towards Alistair Gray off the bench, now towards McBurney, and Gray continues his run. That's Shane down the left, does well to beat one, tries to get inside the area, still Gray on the ball with the Burbers spin. Great work by Shane Gray, and that's a penalty. Referee, are you joking? You're having a laugh. You give Galatasaray a penalty for their cheap antics, and, and that's not a penalty. You're joking. 
I am not going to be happy if we don't collect the three points, man. How is that not a penalty? It's Gray does well to win it back. Whenever Shane Gray plays, he plays well. Now Kingsley to him as he feeds McBurney down the left-hand side. Back towards Shane Gray. Oh, oh, so close to a perfect through ball. But it's okay because Duncan Smith gets it back. And the Tory finds Shane Gray. Gray on the ball. Better through ball. Picks out Ollie Burke. He goes for goal. Good stop by Muslera. And Alistair Gray shot. Tipped over the bar by the Uruguayan. Fine save. Still 2-1. Can we find a dagger goal to wrap up these three points? Patterson, they'll crossfield that across towards Stephen Kingsley. Fullbacks linking up. You don't really see that very often. Now Shane Gray on the ball. Cuts past one. Feeds it inside to the Tory. Duncan Smith on the ball. Through towards McBurney. Surely. Oh, Muslera. Another great save. Shane Gray with a corner. Whips one into the centre. Looking for Oliver Burke. Oh, Muslera again. Another great save. And then Patterson denied again by Muslera. Well, Fernando Muslera may have kept his side in the game. But instead of attacking as a doppelganger is there for you. To find the equaliser. He just kept on sitting back. Allowed us attempts on goal. We couldn't find a third goal. It did not matter. Two on the final score. Big three points. And our second win in three in the Champions League. All right. So second game today. Back in the Premier League. Away against Mark Hughes' Stoke. And so far, they are one of just two teams in the league to record a win so far. So with us just four points off Spurs at the top right now, you'd surely fancy our chances. So come on to Johnson, let's keep the good form going and get another big win here. I don't know whether you guys agree with me or not, but I actually really like this pitch pan. It's the only one in the game where you've got the diamonds. Some people really don't like it. I, I think it's so cool. I, I, I like unique sort of like pitch layouts or, or stadium in the game for a bit more variety. I really like this pitch layout. Some people say it's a bit confusing, but I, I, I must say I really like it. Oh, Ryan Gould! Oh, Ryan Gould! What a start to the game! Bring out the silencer, son, because you have silenced the crowd within the space of three minutes. I never score long-range goals. In fact, I think in a recent episode, I said something like I never score from range anymore, and Ryan Gould has just scored a fantastic goal from just outside the area. And I should bloody well hope we see more of those. He's cost us £35 million, pounds, our club record signing. More of that needed on a regular basis, son. What a goal! Come on, Dougie, your ball in the air, son, your ball. Well, that'll work out well for us. Tony flicks it on towards Gould, who scored our first goal of the game. Back towards Tony, still without a Premier League goal this season. Turns his man, he'll whip one in to who is the star of the team right now. Ewan McDonald. Ewan McDonald is just on one right now. Pull out the big man flex, because you showed some serious strength there to beat your man in the air and make it 2-0. What may not be scoring the goals this season, but he set up the guy that is... Ewan McDonald is just on a mad one right now. It's another call for our number 10. And it's, it's a header from a guy that is not tall or known for his aerial ability. 2-0 to St. Johnston. And just like against Galatasaray, we've hit them quickly. And we are on fire. You know, the, the best thing about this series, at least for me, is that it's so frustrating. And you guys know that. It's so annoying how we, you know, lose and have so much bad luck a lot of the time. But when it goes right, when things go well... It's, it's just amazing because I, I've said before, like for me, youth players are what make career modes great. You know, they make the save your own. They make it unique, you know, and, and this save is all about developing young players. And I just, I think it's awesome when they, you know, they, they play well and you just, you sort of get lost in the world that you're creating, you know. And, uh, and this is just an amazing start to the game. Already leading by two. And you and McDonald this season has been fantastic. The Stoke are through here. Sergio Molina tries to punish me for daydreaming and fires it wide. He's Gould on the ball and he'll spread it out wide towards Hamilton effortlessly. What a ball by Gouldy. And what a touch by Rob. And that's not a bad delivery either. Punched away. But it will drop to Tierney. It's set up nicely for him. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Stoke's still trying to get themselves back in the game as Barry. Oh, <laughs> Oh dear, I mean, that, <laughs> it wasn't the best clearance by the old man, I think he pulled something there, but it's okay, we got the danger clear, <laughs> that was embarrassing, what was that, oh dear, and there it is, another win for St. Johnston, Stokes wait for their first win of the season continues, but another big three points for the boys from Perth, we are not going to give up on the title race for the entire year this season. And we started off strong as well. We're trying to close the gap, and that's a good way to do it. Big win. All right, so third and final game today, and we play host to Ronald Koeman's Everton, who they themselves have not started off too well. Only two wins in their first nine games. But Spurs just keep on winning. We are still four points behind them. We can't worry about what Pochettino and his team are doing. We need to keep on getting these three points and keep the winning streak going. So Everton, our third and final opponents today. Come on, St. Johnston. We need to keep on putting the pressure on. We need to keep on winning. Let's go. 
Kevin Morales takes it around Rob Hamilton down the left-hand side. Great chance here for the Toffees to go in front. Reed pushes the cross away and makes a brilliant save to deny Connolly. This game's looking like it's going to finish 0-0 unless we can hit them on the break like right now. Come on, ball inside towards Malcolm Mitchell off the bench. Finding Ewan McDonald, top scorer so far this season for us and it continues. Ewan McDonald is just unbelievable. St Johnston won Everton 0, eighth goal of the season, taking the lead in the Golden Boot race. He's our saviour. Tony Watt has not scored a single goal for the Saints this season, but that's okay because Ewan's picking up the slack. Gets on to the through ball from Malcolm Mitchell and a great finish. 1-0 to the Saints. Big goal. One final roll of the dice here for Everton. Barkley through towards Delafeu. The Everton winger finds his man Oxford back inside towards Delafeu. And it's a brilliant team goal. It's a wonderful, wonderful team goal. And Zay Turbo has equalised for Everton with the final kick of the game. We, we just can never win three games in a row in an episode. And Zay Turbo has levelled it right at the death. They don't deserve this. It's a brilliantly worked goal, absolutely fantastic. And De La Feu right there, sweated the ball across the face of Zay Turbo, who fires it past Logan. Oh my god, god, oh my goodness. We are not going to win the title if we throw games away in stoppage time. And how many times have we done that throughout this series? We've been leading a game by a goal, and then in stoppage time, with virtually the final kick, our opponents equalise. It happens all too often. They only had one shot on target in the entire game, and that was the Zay Turbo goal. Honestly, so, so sickening. There weren't many attempts in this game at all, but Everton left it till the very last second to grab that point. This is a big blow. We needed to hold on to those three points, man. And that will end today's episode of Club and Country as well, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode of C and C, then please do consider leaving a like as likes are, of course, very much appreciated and they really help the channel out as well. Much love to you all. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy the football tonight. And I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon. Bye.